morning, everybody. We're in Western Alberta, west of Calgary, just outside the Rocky Mountains. We're about to deliver this load into Banff. The sun is just about to join us out east there. So let's get trucking. We're gonna get this freight off the trailer today. I picked this up in Grand Junction, Colorado. If you haven't been following, if you haven't been, you can go back and follow all my videos as we left Winnipeg, went all the way down to Tonopah, Arizona, west of Phoenix, and up to Grand Junction, Colorado to pick that up. And now up to the Rocky Mountains here of Alberta. It's been a bit of a trip. And after we get this unloaded, we go back to Calgary. It's Saturday today. On Monday, I have a reload that's going to Brandon, Manitoba. That's taking me home out east. Oh, eastern, eastern, western Manitoba. Eastern, western Canada. The eastern prairies. I'm gonna go in here to Timmy's, grab a coffee. It's a little bit chillier up here than it was down in Arizona. It's toque weather again. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Clear skies. Rocky Mountains. Oh, hey, our buddy's back. How's it going? I only got coffee today, man. Good to see you. You have a good night. I gave him some of my pizza yesterday. He lives outside here around the, the truck stop and the casino. Doesn't want me to pet him though. I tried yesterday. Maybe today he'll let me pet him. Here, let me put my coffee down on my trailer over here and seems to be following me. One second, bud. Let me put my coffee down. I don't got any food for you. I'll scratch your ears. Hey, bud. Come here. Come here. I just want to pet you. I just want to pet you. No, not today either. I'm a friend. No, come here. No, backing away. Okay, well, I've got to go to work. I, I don't got any food for you, I'm sorry. Unless you want some coffee. No, you can go ask that guy. Maybe he's got some food. See you later. Still won't let me pet him. All right. Almost feels weird wearing this toque already. I mean, it's only been like a week, but I kind of like that warm weather. <laughs> I got used to that very quickly. Oh, it was very nice. Very nice. Oh, our buddy's back. Hello. Hello. I wonder if I got anything to give him to eat. Bread. Do dogs like bread? No, it's kind of old bread. I was going to throw that out. I shouldn't give him old bread. Oh, I got nothing in here right now. Sorry, man. You ate the rest of my pizza yesterday. I don't know what his name is, he's got no collar. So I'm just assuming he, he lives out here, around here, he's an outside dog. We're delivering this stuff to a ski resort just past Banff. So I'm about an hour away from there. I have to be there at 7 a.m. I believe it's about six. Yeah, okay, so I don't have too much extra time. Uh, it should take about 45 minutes, but I gave myself an extra 15 just in case. I'm not expecting any traffic, but I've never been to this resort before. And I'm not too sure if, if it's gonna take a little extra time to get in there. So it's time to go. Rock and roll. Alright. We'll find our way out of here. The trailer's coming with us. That's good. See you later, man. Take care of yourself. Watch my trailer. Watch my trailer. Oh, he's moving, okay. That's the casino over there.
Stony Nakoda Resort and Casino. That's where we stayed. Ooh, that sunshine right in my mirror. At least we're gonna be driving west and not directly into that sun. It'll be a bit of short, bit of a shorter day of driving because we're only driving an hour west, and once we're unloaded, we're driving. Uh, how far is Calgary from Banff? An hour? Two hours? Two hours? Two hours back east, and that's it. And all we got to do is uh, wait till Monday. Just like I thought. I figured. That's okay. Everybody else wants a weekend. Us truckers, we just gotta wait for everybody to come back to work. No weekend for us. Well, I guess I got a weekend in the truck. But... Lift off.
that can't be the bridge. Oh, it's the whole road. What? I thought there was a bridge here somewhere. Because they were going to load me up. They wanted to load me up with my regular like 44, 45,000 pounds, right? But they could only put about 25,000 or whatever. I think we got 24 or something on my truck. Because there was weight restrictions on this road. I thought they said there was a bridge here somewhere too. I guess we'll find out. Got another five miles down this road. So 
we've got the spools off and all the equipment's put away. I'm just gonna get this container off next and I'll be on my way back to Calgary. Which is amazing, look how high up that mountain is up there. Flatlander in the mountains, man, blows my mind. Look at that. Look at that, I wonder if they ever have snow, like avalanches that fall down there into the parking lot here. And they got another guy over there that they're unloading as well. Oh, they're starting to unload him now. I wonder if they're gonna unload this container later or? Oh. And this is where you park and then you take the gondolas. Is that what they're called? On the, up the mountain. So cool. This is called uh, Sunshine Village in Banff. I'm not too sure why they didn't unload this container right away and they started unloading the other guy. There's two of us. It's a different carrier. I have no idea who that is. There's two of us that came from the same place that's uh, delivering here. Maybe they need different equipment to unload the... Well, they just need the forks to poke in there, right? I don't know what's going on. I'm in no big rush. Maybe I can get a good thumbnail out of this if I can get my shadow out of the shot. Let's see here. Ah, the sun's right behind me. That shadow is always going to be in there. Here. Maybe from this angle. What do you guys think of this for a thumbnail? Right there. That's it right there. Beautiful. We'll see if I use that or not. I think that's the one though. That's the winning shot. All right, we're done. I gotta roll down the hill. Look at all these cars coming in here now. Wow, it'll be a busy day. That's why they wanted me here so early. It gets pretty busy, especially on Saturdays.
first we'll get ourselves out of the Rockies, back onto the prairies. Oh, we got some wildlife on the road up ahead. Right at the bottom of this hill, right where those vehicles are there. Hey! Excuse me! Excuse me! I'm gonna warn those guys coming. I don't know 
always nose in. But when I do, it's because it's the perfect spot. So this spot right here is a handicap spot. You have to have a permit to park there. My spot right there is not. And I can back right out into the driveway beside the 